Okay, Troy, uh, Troy Rosenbrook um, from Highland Bank. Um, Troy joined Highland Bank now six months? Oh, a year ago. Time flies when you're having fun. So we're moving up the balance sheet and going now into um, kind of the pure debt portion. Um, Troy, tell us a little bit about the banking category and how Highland Bank fits. Sure, I think we've had a good discussion uh, already about how this is really a spectrum of funding. Uh, all, all the way from equity through debt. And so I'm here to talk a little bit about more traditional banking uh, position. So what, what a bank typically looks at is more predictable earnings, predictable cash flow versus some of the previous speakers who are earlier in the, in the stage of uh, funding. But I think it's important to understand that we also work with a number of those people. The, this conversation today is really not <clears throat> about picking one or the other. I think uh, many of them uh, we work with on a, on a fairly regular basis. We work with private equity, we work with a MES lender, we work with uh, uh, an asset base lender at times. And so I think this is not mutually exclusive when you're thinking about this spectrum. It's about putting together um, perhaps a number of these parties in order to uh, move your organization along. Um, as a debt provider, uh, we are typically looking at sort of basic things like real estate lending, uh, equipment lending, line of credit lending. Those are the sort of the standard uh, sort of options that we have on the table. In terms of setting appropriate expectations, uh, we do fixed rate lending, we do floating rate lending, we typically have some kind of financial covenants around the cash flow of the organization and around uh, its tangible net worth. Uh, we have standard reporting. It might be monthly, it might be quarterly, but it's certainly annually at a at a minimum. Um, and so you can hear, you know, um, you know, as Rick said, uh, we're moving up in a different spectrum of of uh, funding than what some of the other uh, previous speakers were talking about. Um, you can kind of expect to have personal guarantees when you when you talk to us about uh, financing, especially uh, especially as the businesses are are smaller in nature. Uh, as was referenced earlier, we are looking for experience, both industry experience, but also uh, management experience and financial experience. Those are all things that are important to us, so it's, uh, it's not just about the numbers. The purpose um, traditionally has been real estate acquisition, real estate expansion, equipment financing, working capital, meaning receivables and inventory financing, uh, merger and acquisition activity as well as other business expansion. So that's really the spectrum that we fit in in this conversation uh, today. Great, and you have uh, five branches around the metro, but also lend across the state, correct? Correct, yes. We're, we're a, a family-owned community bank here in the Twin Cities with five locations. Uh, you know, we're about a $530 million bank, which, which everyone cares about except for bankers, no one cares about. Um, and uh, really what that translates into is we lend up to about $9 million. Uh, after that, we, we have to bring in partners to, uh, to get things done. Great. All right. Thank you.